we are currently waiting for our train to get to the little village of Obuse. We have to go via Nagano. Anyway, so we're going to this village of Obuse, which is famous for my favorite drink, which is Steve Kool Aid, flavored with sake and chestnuts. Um, so we're getting quite out in the countryside today. Uh, there's vineyards, apparently, orchards, all kinds of lovely things. Um, but yeah, so hopefully we'll get our train. Right, we're in Abuse. Very small vibe. Um, I don't think they get comparatively that many foreigners here, or the gaijin as they call it. There was a little wall in the tourist office covered with faces of the people from different nations who've been here, which is quite sweet. We're off in search of various goodies, uh, maybe some more caffeine. So, Obuse. Smells like chestnut. Mm -hmm. It's plum. Plum. I know, I know it's plum, but <laughs> that's why I was asking. Chestnut, like, just a cigar. <laughs> now that's more of a proper looking wine bottle there. Chardonnay from Nagano. Smile, Steve. sake brew which was kind of the oldest one here and it's kind of integral into bringing chestnuts and sake back into the mainstream and part of the tourism here. We're now trying a hakim which means platinum, a fancy bottle. This one it's purely brewed in Japanese cedar oak barrels which was a, a lost style which he says brought back in the year 2000 and it was uh, ranked very highly in the all Japan sake rankings at the start of the Meiji period. This is a fancy one we get a small shot of it. The bottle costs 10,800 yen, which is about, I don't know, 90 quid. So this hopefully is going to be very nice. Now, Steve, hold it there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's really freaking nice. Come by. Apparently, like tequila, you can try the bit of, I don't know what to do, man. You can try, you can try sake with salt on the rim. Salty sake, it's a good name for a song or a band. Mm, no salt for me. That's good stuff. Oh yeah. Right, so we've just come out of the brewery. Uh, <laughs> I'm a bit tipsy, how are you feeling? Mm, yeah, ditto. we had a few sakes in there because they were very tasty, very nice people. Uh, now we're gonna try and find some lunch. I think we're gonna hit a little local ramen joint before then searching for some chestnuts and maybe, who knows, get some more sake. I can't be trusted.
Right, so we had some quite nice ramen. Uh, Steve's was better because he had a meat broth. I went for their vegetarian, vegan friendly version. Stupid Luke, stupid Luke. Meat's always better. Never forget that. Uh, but now we're going for a nice walk over to the hills to see a couple of temples, burn off our noodles, and then we need to hit them chestnuts. So approaching Gan Shoin, upon which is painted some works by Hokusai, who was the great painter who painted The Wave and various other works. He was basically based in this little village, and we're going to go have a look at it. A bit further down and then up into the hills is Jokoji, which is apparently a very ancient looking 15th century shrine hiding away by itself in the middle of this hill to our left. Very interesting looking thing. Thatched roof, cinematic entrance and everything. Right, back to the town. Ice cream, chestnut and miso caramel. Miso caramel. What are you so? <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Oh yeah, just as good. Happy with the Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. <laughs> That's the end of that. <laughs> so we've had our lovely ice cream and we have about an hour to kill. So <laughs> fingers crossed we don't do something silly and miss the train. Um, but we're going to go for another little sake. Just to sort of sit inside as well as the temperature starts to drop. <laughs> 